Hello, fabulous Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2014, General Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. So this month features a new moon in your sign in the last week of the month, and it is going to be an energy that you are carrying into next month as well. But really, this month is when you begin your personal new year. So all of us, at some time or another, given the time of year, experience our own new moon. And you usually only get one in your sign each year. And this is yours. This is it. And so most of this month is actually spent preparing for this big launch. And I do think that, especially as you start this month, you have that feeling like something big is about to happen that something is about to shift, something is about to change. But for most of the month, a lot of those changes are happening on internal levels, are happening on very personal levels. And then by the end of the month, your life will start to look different as well. But I say that with a little bit of caution. And the reason that I have some caution about this is because this particular new moon taking place in your sign is speaking with both um, Mars in harmony, but speaking with Neptune as well. And when a planet or when a configuration sets up a conversation like this with Neptune, which astrologers call a square configuration, it does set, set to, it does tend to suggest um, in some ways having an ideal that is held very, very high, having really high hopes, expecting a miracle. And then the reality can't really match what you've sort of built up in your mind because ultimately reality is so much better than fantasy but if your fantasy is taking you off in a whole other direction then when the blessings do come when the shifts do come if you've got yourself so focused in one area if you've got yourself so focused in one very specific pinpointed direction then you don't allow yourself the perception needed to recognize how the universe is attempting to rush blessings towards you. And that is a real possibility here. Mainly because ultimately this new moon is speaking in harmony with Mars. It suggests that you're energized, you're pumped up, you feel a sense of motivation. You feel a sense that you are ready to move your life in a brand new direction. And you've got sort of your swords in the air, if you will, ready to march into a brand new chapter, a brand new life, a brand new year as well. And absolutely, you can cultivate the best of that. And and at the same time, that new life doesn't necessarily mean that it is as if a light switch has happened or it is as if all of a sudden you just take a plane and you're somewhere else and everything is different. You've still got you. And that is actually your asset. That is actually a really good thing. It's when you're expecting the magical cure instead of trusting the magical process that things start to go a little bit off. And so that really is one of the big secrets. I remember many, many years ago, somebody said this and it really stuck with me. And I believe that this is something that is a, is, is something that can be true in every area of life or every phase of life. And just as I said right now, there is no magic cure. There is a magic process, a magical process. And just about anything you want, you can have. I'm very much of the belief of that. I love stating that again and again in the videos. And I do believe that very much. However, at the same time, we have to look at times at why we want what we want and how sometimes what it is we want is motivated not necessarily by a move towards greater love and greater wisdom, but is actually reinforcing um, states of spirit, states of emotion that maybe are not as enlightened or not as healthy or not as loving or not as wise. You are about to understand this distinction as you prepare to launch yourself in new directions because ultimately the direction the universe wants you to go in is one where you feel powerful, you feel strong, you feel ready, and you feel prepared to really begin fresh and new. You feel ready to start again. 
And yet, if you hold on too tightly to some sort of a magical cure that's promised to you, you'll miss the point. And the point is the process. The point is to begin a journey that will take a full six months to manifest, that will take a full six months to come to fruition. The point is to look at what you most want in your heart, what it is your heart most wants to express now, and to allow that expression to come forward in an easy, natural, and empowering empowering way instead of buying into some sort of dream or some sort of hype that says your life has to look like this in order for you to truly feel that you've done what it was that was worthy or that expressed your worthiness. You have that already within you. I do think also, as I look at the broad scope of this month, where so much energy begins on levels of unconscious. And so it looks like whatever blessings find you in the first part of the month are really based on what you've already done. There's nothing more you need to do. You've proven what you needed to, you've done what you needed to. And it looks like there's some sort of work or career related breakthrough that happens for you based on the efforts of other people. And as I said, what's already been done. It's about karmic reward, really. And then in the middle of the month, the focus turns to you. It turns to what's happening on a day-to-day -day level. And also it turns to elements of your health as well, elements of your work as well. So it looks like the workspace is asking for your attention, but the financial rewards are there to support you and to motivate you to actually make those changes. And it's very likely that some of you are going to be experiencing increased responsibilities in the workspace. And this is part of the increased prosperity that you're likely to experience. But ultimately, all of these are experiences. All of these are information to fuel the new chapter that is coming up for you towards the end of the month. Embrace every single experience. Embrace every single prospect. It is a part of your learning. It is a part of you understanding yourself more as you prepare to begin again in brand new directions, directions that you are going to be working on for the next six months and will reap some wonderful fruit further down the road. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.